they started by building this upper wall, brought it around the corner. They still have some terraces left to go over here. As this thing goes up the hill, they're going to build these little pockets with walls creating these little terraces. That'll come later. Right now what they're doing is really focusing a lot of time on this lower wall. Now the rock we're using here is a dolomite limestone, the same basic stuff we used on the house. This is called weathered edge right here, we're using for the retaining wall, whereas this stuff is called castle rock. Now it's all in how they sort it. This has a lot of blues and greens. Most of these are just about exactly four inch because they're going up as veneer. Whereas this stuff, the sizes are all over the place. It's just a lot more of a, a rustic mixture. And that gives us, you know, sort of the rustic look we're going for on the wall. And you wonder where all this stuff comes from? It all starts with a little blasting in Wisconsin. The stone layers form kind of a ledge at the quarry. And the blasting creates enough separation between the layers that they can literally fork off very large pieces with a skid loader. Now when the stone comes out of the ground, it has this nice, rough, natural appearance to it. The trick is, as you go from larger stones to smaller ones, you want to maintain that, that rough appearance. If you cut this with a saw, it has a very man-made look and appearance. So what they do is a, a more extreme version of what Russ has been using here on the job. It's called a stationary stone splitter, and it uses hydraulics to apply forces that can get into the hundreds of tons, depending on the size of stone being split. The cuts are fairly straight, so the pieces end up basically rectangular, but the edges come out with a rough texture that matches the tops and bottoms. Now Russ is using the same type of thing on just a smaller scale. And uh, I'll tell you, when you're working with natural stone like this, there is a bit of a trick to putting it all together. It isn't quite the same as working with manufactured block. So Russ, working with natural material like this, what is the, the kind of the trick to the trade to make sure this thing doesn't fall down after a year once it's up? What are some of the things you guys do? Well, basically, we're taking a bigger stone on the bottom and getting that base set up. And, you know, that's more of an anchor for it. And as we get up taller with the wall, it'll be a little thinner product and a little lighter so you don't have that top being heavy. And you do tilt it back a little bit, it looks like. Yeah, you know, we've got a camper to it mm -hmm. where you're just setting the stone back just a little bit on each layer, trying to get it as straight as possible. There again, it's natural stone, mm -hmm. so it's, it's not perfect. I notice you're also throwing in these jumpers here. That's a nice way to just kind of keep everything varied all the way through. Exactly, yep. And you're getting the lines broke up, and it uh, just gives it that better look. Now, to a certain extent, these must rock quite a bit. I mean, don't they? Because it, it's just it's difficult to get these things to just set down like a manufactured product. Yeah, very difficult. It, it's a it, you know it's a puzzle for us. We're taking we're taking the block, pretty much a pallet, taking it apart, mm -hmm. setting it on the ground. And, and putting the puzzle together. And you can cheat a little bit by using that grinder of yours from time to time. Yeah, we have a grinder. Uh, we have a cutting wheel on one too, so we can grind them to get them to fit a little bit. And then we're also using shims in there. And there's nothing wrong with that because, I mean, those shims are going nowhere. When you backfill with all that rock and stuff, they're... It's locked wedged, in. Wedged right in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's looking absolutely great. When we got that rain the other day, it really cleaned off the face of that one. Yep. And, uh, boy, it's going to be spectacular when, you're, when yeah. you're done here. You can see the color in it when it's yeah. cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. keep up the good work. Thanks. Looking nice.